Hello YouTubers. I thought I would uh, touch on a little subject and go over it uh, based on my experiences with the Centec or Harbor Freight battery maintainers or float chargers. I've uh, worked with these over the years and tweaked some of these for friends because the uh, voltages were not calibrated properly because they are mass produced and they're not individually calibrated. So what that means is the output voltage should be 13.6 volts for proper operation. Uh, per batteryuniversity.com's website, charging or uh, having a float charge on a battery should be set at a constant voltage of 13.6 volts. So these devices are set, they have a built-in voltage regulator which are supposed to be tweaked and set at 13.6 volts. Well my experience showed over time that some were down along around 11 and a half volts and as high as 15 volts. The uh, any any uh, voltages below 12 and a half volts, 12.6 volts didn't do anything. Nothing was being charged. Anything over uh, 13.8 and you start gassing or, or uh, kind of what they call boiling out your battery. Uh, so it should be tweaked at 13.6. So I had several of these from friends and I took them apart and recalibrated them by changing a uh, voltage divider network inside the system and uh, tweaking the uh, voltage regulator circuit. So this is the Harbor Freight slash Centec unit and here's the schematic. Let's see, let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, you guys could do a screenshot, blow it up, take a look at it. But this is the schematic inside. Basically, the heart of the circuit is this 7805 uh, 5 volt voltage regulator. And what they do is they apply this voltage divider circuit here. Uh, these two resistors change this to a variable voltage regulator. So, ideally, based on these resistance values, you should get 13.6 volts. So this is one of the ones that I tweaked and these are the values I came up with roughly 446 ohms for this group of uh, resistors in parallel with these two resistors in series gave me 13.6 volts out. So you'll have to tweak those resistance ratios and uh, that'll give you the 13.6 volts. The other question about these unit is are they fully automatic? They are not fully automatic. There's nothing automatic about this. It puts a float charge on your battery and the battery will sit there and charge or sit at a float value of 13.6 volts the entire time it's plugged in. What happens is when you plug it in, this is a, what they call a constant voltage charging circuit. And I say charge, but it's actually a float or maintainer. To fully charge a lead acid battery, you have to use a bulk charger, something that's going to put out a higher amount of amperage. This is just to keep your battery active and, and, and at a certain voltage uh, that will uh, keep it from suffocating. Uh, the other issues are, they talk about, um, there is no automatic shutoff. This thing does not have an automatic shutoff. It is on constantly. The red light indicates one thing. First of all, let's demo it. Let me zoom back a little bit. I've got a battery here. Uh, we tie the battery to the unit without the unit plugged in. And you see there's an LED on. The LED indicates that you have proper polarity. Uh, if you reverse the polarity, the light will not come on. The other thing is, once if it's not connected, which ideally you should plug it in after you connect it to the battery, but I'm plugging it in now, and you can see that when you power it from the transformer, the LED goes on. Now, the only thing that this circuitry that this thing has is a short circuit protection. I could short out the two leads and the LED goes out and it disconnects the internal regulator from the circuit so you're not shorting out the uh, uh, transformer. Uh, and 
that's the only safety feature only automatic feature on there so take a look at the schematic zoom back in and if if you have any uh, curiosity about how it's actually wired this is how it's wired uh, thank you for your time I try to do this unedited because I hate editing videos <laughs> I hope this uh, helps you out and uh, good luck charging your batteries.